guys, it's Julin and Ebby. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Planting with Julin video. I'm here at my home in Santa Monica, California and as you can tell, I am wearing a sweater. So it is finally officially fall. I think as of yesterday, it turned really cold and gloomy. So hopefully lighting is okay with this video. I apologize if it's not that vibrant because there is no sunlight. But I thought I wanted to go ahead and do a planting video today featuring my fiddle leaf figs. If you've seen my plant tour collection patio edition, you did see my fiddle leaf fig section. Um, backstory of my fiddle leaf figs, I had it in Las Vegas. I had two originally at the beginning of the year and because of the dryness in Las Vegas and also with the conditions of the zone, it didn't like Las Vegas and I really feel bad for anybody who has fiddle leaf figs in Las Vegas because it just it doesn't work really well out there. So when I brought my plants down to Santa Monica and just gave it a little bit of TLC, it eventually gave me so many leaves. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have and then we're going to go ahead and plant them into its new planters which I just got over the past few days in Las Vegas and give them a little bit of TLC. So you're going to be able to see how I take care of my fiddle leaf figs and Evie left the planting table. So I am going to go right into it and I'm going to just show you guys how I do my plant care for fiddle leaf figs and just kind of talk about fiddle leaf figs in general. So fiddle leaf figs do not like dry, harsh weather. So I think that's why I didn't work out in Las Vegas. I'm going to show you the three that I have and then we're going to go ahead and plant them and clean them up. So originally when I had the two fiddle leaf figs, in Las Vegas it was pretty healthy and full for probably about two weeks and it wasn't in the greatest condition when I picked it up at the nursery but I was so in love with the filling fig that I couldn't believe that it was there in Las Vegas and I picked two up for my collection all of the leaves fell off in time in a matter of two weeks or so and I got really depressed but if that happens to you just Think about the zone that you're in, the temperature and the climate because fiddle leaf figs love a tropical moist environment. So here is the first one and it is so impressively big. Now look at the span of the leaf. It is way bigger than my hand or my head and I'm so impressed and excited about the growth of this plant because it wasn't like this when I had it. All of the leaves fell off um, but it just, it really does depend on your environment and your zone. So here is my first one. I'm gonna set this aside over here. Here is my second one. Now this one I grew from scratch. So this never existed and I actually took a baby off of the mother plant which is the one I just showed you right here. And then over time it grew into this. So this was just an extra little bonus. And this guys right here is my second one that I got. And again when I did pick it up, it kind of looked like this. All of the leaves fell off and then when I brought it to Las Vegas, it replenished and gave me a lot of new leaves. So I'm really excited because Las, Las Vegas wasn't doing really good with the fiddle leaf figs and then now I brought them down here to Santa Monica and they are thriving. So definitely make sure that you think about your environment when you're picking out your plants and your plant shopping because not every plant will do well in your city and your zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant them up into its new planter and then we're gonna go ahead and clean them and give them some water. So hopefully lighting is okay because Again, the weather is really bad right now in Santa Monica and gloomy. So I'm going to start with the first one here. So this is the planter that I have and it's my biggest one out of the three. So this is going to be for the first plant. And again, I got this from Star Nursery. I have my rubber plant in the same one in a smaller size. I absolutely love these things. I even have a smaller size like this for my pepperomis that are living outside of my patio. And you want to make sure that you have a drainage hole because fiddle leaf figs need good watering where you're going to water them really really good and wait for the water to run and drain through the bottom and that's when you know you have good watering for the fiddle leaf figs. So definitely you need a planter that has a hole in the bottom. So Let's just be extra careful. Come out. Perfect. Have my cute potting soil container, which I absolutely love. And I know you guys mentioned in the comments that you guys think this is adorable. I actually got this as a gift from my friend Kira in Las Vegas, and I hope to do a plant tour soon of her plant collection because she has a very big plant collection as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just top off the soil to get it fitting perfectly into the planter here. I think this is a perfect size planter for this fiddle leaf fig. Alright, 
So here is the first guy and I'm gonna go ahead and set this down on the ground and work with my second one. This is similar to like the one that I did share on my part two of my plant collection video in my home. This is also from Star Nursery and I picked this up for $4 on sale. I absolutely love this thing. Again, drainage hole is key. I'm gonna put this guy in here. I was so nervous for a very long time to transplant the fiddle leaf figs because they're so finicky. I didn't want to stress them out and then lose all of its leaves. I've worked so hard this whole year growing this plant and getting its leaves back and I'm so excited that I actually got a baby out of one of the mother plants which is really hard. Now you can water propagate these type of plants um, but it's really hard and stressful and upsetting because it's very rare to get roots out of these guys, but if you do want to go ahead and try to water propagate them, I suggest maybe cutting them off maybe from the top here and sticking it into water versus just a leaf here. So I'm going to go ahead, again, same style as the sand pot that I got from Las Vegas and I picked it up for $4 on sale. So definitely, I always buy planters and plants whenever it's on sale because uh, the nursery that I frequent always has sales, so I always wait. So my fiddle leaf figs do live outside in my patio, but I don't know, maybe after I go ahead and transplant this, I may want one inside of my home. But the thing with fiddle leaf figs is that they're so picky, and um, you want to have it not in direct light, so definitely in a shaded environment. Alright, so this is the last one. So it's getting really dark. I'm going to go ahead and basically for my plant care for fiddle leaf fig, you want to get two things. You're going to need coconut oil, which is the way how I clean my plants with big foliages. I get coconut oil. This one is from Trader Joe's. It's my favorite one. I also use this on my skin. And then I have some paper towels and a little bit of water. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and we'll start with this guy over here. We are going to in the coconut oil and then I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of coconut oil onto the napkin just like this. Then dip it into the bowl of water just to get it damp a little bit. Squeeze it out. So now you have coconut oil and water on top of the napkin. And then you're gonna go ahead and just wipe the leaf just like this. And so while you're doing your plant care like this, you wanna look for bugs, like mealybugs or any type of spiders. Now I have tons of spiders and ants in my patio, which is unfortunate, but I do go ahead and flip the leaf so I can see what's going on underneath it and on top of it. So I usually do this at least once a month. Ideally, I would like to do it at least three times a month because any type of plants with big foliages, it does collect a lot of dust as you can see Look at, on this napkin. So I go ahead and just flip it upside down and I just be very careful when I'm wiping, just checking the health of the plant. And if I see any bugs, then I definitely know that I need to go ahead and get them out of there. But if you can see here, Look at how shiny this leaf is. And the coconut oil does last a while. And I absolutely love using this method. There's so many other methods, but this one works for me. So I do this with my rubber plants and for my fiddle leaf figs. And then when I go ahead and finish all of the wiping down of the leaves and cleaning them up, I'll give them a good water. So now I'm going to use another napkin. That one was really dirty. Look at this. Get some coconut oil. Dip it in water. Squeeze it out. And continue cleaning each leaf front and back. And the coconut oil does last a long time. So you'll definitely see a lot of shine. Probably for two weeks, depending on where you are having your fiddle leaf fig. Like mine's is in my patio and it's very dusty in my patio, so I would probably have to clean it more often if it 
considering if it was living in my home. That looks pretty good. This one is good. And look at how cute this is right over here. Do you see that? A little baby leaf. I absolutely love seeing this. That means it's happy in its living environment. and get a dry paper towel and I'll just do one quick wipe through just to make sure that there is no extra dust or dirt. There's just a little bit left. You want to be pretty careful when handling the leaves. They are on the hardy side but definitely they are easy to break off if you're not careful. So when I wipe, I go ahead and put my hand on the bottom leaf, like so. And then I go ahead and wipe them like this and I just kind of sandwich them in between my hands. Get a good wipe. So, this one looks pretty. I absolutely love it. Look at how shiny the leaf is. It's glistening. Yay! So here's the next one. Again, you're going to get a paper towel, coconut oil, dipped into water, squeeze it out, and continue wiping. See, look what happened. The leaf just fell off as I was touching it. You gotta be very careful. I don't know if that one was about to fall off or not, but. I don't see any bugs in this one, so. That's always a nice sign. I see a lot of cobwebs though, um, which is not surprising considering I have a lot of spiders in my home. So that was my little quick wipe down and everybody looks really happy shiny and clean look at that and I think that looks really good we're gonna move on to the last one which is the biggest guy coconut oil and a paper towel dipped into water to dilute the coconut oil and get the napkin wet grab onto the bottom part of the leaf and wipe the top gently now this guy is kind of dying on the edges but that doesn't mean I want to cut it off. I may go ahead and just trim this part off. I could use a garden scissors. That's fine. I'm just going to leave it like that. I feel bad if it's still green. I don't like to trim it off. So I don't see any bugs on this guy which is nice but a lot of dirt. So I'm gonna continue wiping all of the leaves down. So satisfying to see the plant go from dull and dusty to shiny and clean. Look at this. So it's always important to make sure that you do this plant care for your fiddle leaf fix pretty often. If you see dust collecting on it, it's time to do a little cleaning like this. You want to make sure that the plant is getting the correct amount of photosynthesis from the sun. And it just looks better and your plant is happier. Especially like it's good to check to see if there's any bugs or anything strange happening with your plant. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have a fiddle leaf fig, how big is it, where do you guys keep it, um, and also let me know how much you bought it for because fiddle leaf figs are very expensive. I was fortunate enough to get mine for $10 on sale which is so cheap. I do see them in LA and in San Francisco for really expensive. They can go for over $100 or even like 
a normal price, maybe something like this guy that I'm cleaning right now will probably go for around $60. And I picked it up for $10. So I couldn't skip out on such an amazing deal. You know me, I always love getting my pants on sale. We're almost done. Cleaning everybody up. They look so good. I'm gonna bring this guy down here because it's so tall. This is the most biggest leaf ever. Look at this, it's so huge. I am so proud about this one. And I see two baby leaves talking up on the top, which is a good sign that I'm doing something right. Little leaf eggs have came a long way from being naked to being plentiful with huge leaves, bigger than my head. Look at this, guys. Ugh. So as you can see in the center right there, there's two brand new baby leaves. Look at this, it's bigger than my head. Um, and everybody is cleaned up and ready for a misting and watering. I'm gonna wrap up the video here because it's getting really dark and I apologize Santa Monica has been really dark lately the last two days been really gloomy and it gets so dark early now so quick recap on my fiddle leaf figs and how I take care of them I put them in a drainage type of planter because they love a good watering now for me and where I am in my zone I like to do one good watering where I see the water come out of the bottom of the drainage hole once a week they love to have their soil moist and a good misting so I do miss them three times a week when I do wipe the foliages I use coconut oil and water in a damp napkin and I wipe front and back while also checking for any bugs or anything that may look stressed out on the plant and that's pretty much it these plants are very finicky they don't like direct sunlight I have mine in my patio which is shaded and if you do put them in your home make sure that they do have some kind of sunlight so maybe a salt facing window would probably work best I may put one of them in my home but I'm so scared because of the situation that happened to me earlier earlier this year in Las Vegas where they lost all of their leaves I'm just gonna keep them in their environment in my patio I'll go ahead and get them in the sunlight tomorrow to put them at the end of this video so you can see what it looks like and I enjoy filming this for you guys you can find more on my blog at ilojulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha. Bye.